Well, it's been a long time since I've seen one of those on a hunting morning. What is going on, guys? This is Antoine, a.k.a. The Big Fella, bringing you another video. I got Isaiah with me, also known as Medium Fella. He's going to get to experience the uh, dog side of hunting today. He's actually not going to hunt. He hasn't finished his hunter safety course yet, but I still decided he could come out here and, uh, you know, at least uh, experience it. Also, I think he's my good luck charm because I actually killed my first deer with him, so maybe i actually get one on camera today. It's going to be a big change of pace and weather today because uh, the last three weekends, I believe, it rained and we hardly saw anything. So it's going to be mostly sunny today. So hopefully the deer are up and moving and uh, we can actually get a couple on the ground today because this has been a really, really, really slow season. Alright you guys, they're about to drop the dogs before we go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and say a word of prayer. Lord Father God, we come to you now just to say thank you for another day. Thank you for the uh, weather being nice and sunny out here, Father God. We ask that you keep us safe as we're out here trying to harvest some deer, Father God. If we kill anything, please bless that animal for the nourishment of our bodies. These prayers and all prayers we pray for your name. Amen. It's real wet out here in the woods today. Some of my big pencil. Yeah, it's pretty uh pretty clear back in here. Oh, okay. So what? We'll get right here at the top of this hill. That way we can see down into the gully. Here the dogs. They got the beagles today, so they'll be able to get in this thick stuff. So they might run down through this gully trying to get out. I think one of the reasons why it's still legal, and especially in this part of Virginia, is because it is so thick like this. Like if uh, we weren't able to hunt with dogs, we would never be able to get the deer up and out of this stuff. I mean, this is not as thick. Uh, you'll see some of the spots we hunt, it's real thick. <laughs> Y'all always find me. <laughs> the dogs always find me. Go find him, go find him. One, two, three, four, five, six beagles. <laughs> they always find me. All right, y'all, we picked the dogs up. Uh, same property, we're just gonna drop them off in a different spot. Now we just heard four shots ring. I don't know if it was one of us or if it was uh, another hunting club, but uh, we'll find out here shortly.
Alrighty guys, we are in another spot. Um, I actually almost killed a deer here uh, last year, but um, a hunter that was ahead of me in line um, got to it first. But um, we're gonna try our luck here at this spot again and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get him this time. Alright y'all, we still haven't gotten any deer down on the ground yet, but uh, we're about to make a last stand right here in the patch of woods by the hunting club. So uh, let me go ahead and get uh, ready and hop up here in the woods and uh, sit somewhere. Well, you guys, we're leaving the hunting club empty-handed again today. Not really sure where the deer were. Um, I think we ran one doe all day long, and it's buck only, so we couldn't shoot that. But um, Christmas Eve is when it switches over to either sex in this county, and it goes all the way to the end of hunting season. So maybe we'll be able to uh, put some deer on the ground in the next two weeks. But um, today wasn't a lost cause because uh, he learned a little something, something about dog hunting today. But uh, we're about to go home and take showers and stuff now because we got to meet up with the family so we can do our secret Santa exchange. All right, you guys, it is Monday around noon on Christmas Eve. Uh, the kids are in there making cookies and stuff for Santa Claus. Uh, that's what this Wednesday's video is going to be about, us, how our Christmas went. Um, as far as this weekend uh, is concerned, um, of course, we didn't see any deer, as you saw. Um, the deer are around because I'm still seeing fresh tracks and stuff like that. It's just we can't find them, so we don't know what's going on. Um, I do still think we have a coyote problem, so I'm thinking that's why uh, we're running into a lot of problems. So I, I plan on rectifying that um, throughout the year. It was great to get my son back out there in the woods. Um, as of right now, he's finally finished his hunter safety course. So I think one of the next times we go out, I'm actually going to let him take his gun out there and see if he can get a deer. My ultimate goal is to have both of my sons in the woods with me hunting, whether it be with dogs or if we're still hunting or sitting out of a ground blind. Me, personally, I don't have a preference one over, over the other. Um, I know there's a bit of controversy uh, between hunting with dogs and still hunting. I know some people don't consider... Uh, you know, hunting with dogs is real hunting. Some people don't consider sitting over a food plot um, with a rifle hunting either. But, um, you know, it's two sides of the same coin, if you ask me. It's uh, just your preference. I mean, I don't know why there's a big debate over the way people hunt, if it's legal. But um, that is my ultimate goal, is to have both of them hunting in the woods, no matter how it is. Well, you guys, I want to go ahead and end this video. Here, I'm about to go in here and help make some of these cookies, maybe even eat a few. Um, if you don't follow me on any of my social media accounts, they'll be rolling right here at the bottom of the screen. They'll also be down there in the description box below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel as well. But that is going to do it for this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune into the next episode where you can catch me outside doing what I love most, getting my dose of the great outdoors. Be sure to get y'all's too. I'll see y'all next Wednesday.